Yeah. Term AI agent being used to describe just about everything these days. Customer agents. Gaia generative AI agent. I don't think we've kind of nailed the, the right way to interact with these agent applications. The OpenAI demo with Project Astra at Google I.O., we're moving into this era of agents. So when he says that one of the most important things is conversational language learning, that's exactly what these agents do. You can interrupt them. Agents is a term that's been tossed around a lot. There's a lot of consultant reports, how about agents, the future of AI, blah, blah, blah. I want to be a bit concrete and share with you um, the broad design patterns I'm seeing in agents. Um, an example of self-reflection would be if you then prompt the LM with something like this. Here's code intended for a task and just give it back the exact same code that we just generated. And then say, check the code carefully for correctness, sound efficiency, good construction criticism. Just write a prompt like that. It turns out the same LLM that you prompted to write the code may be able to spot problems like this bug in line five, may fix it by blah, blah, blah. And if you now take his own feedback and give it to it and reprompt it, it may come up with a version two of the code that could well work better than the first version. Not guaranteed, but it works, you know, often enough for this to be worth trying for a lot of applications. Uh, on the right is something that I kind of extracted from uh, GPT-4, but you know, LMs today, uh, if you ask it, what's the best coffee maker in your web search for some problems, LMs will generate code and run code. Um, and it turns out that there are a lot of different tools that many different people are using for analysis, for gathering information, for taking actions, for personal productivity. Um, it turns out example.jpg, and please describe the new image with your voice. So give an example like this. Um, today with AI agents, you can kind of decide, first thing I need to do is determine the pose of the boy, um, then you know, find the right model, maybe on hugging face, to extract the pose. Then next, you need to find a post image model to synthesize a picture of a, of a girl of, as following the instructions, then use uh, image to text, to, and then finally use text to speech. What ChatDev does is an example of a multi agent system where you prompt one LLM to sometimes act like the CEO of a software engine company, sometimes act like a designer, sometimes act like a product manager, sometimes act like a tester. And this flock of agents that you build by prompting an LLM to tell them, you are now a CEO, you are now a software engineer. They collaborate, have an extended conversation, so that if you tell it, please develop a game, develop a Go Moki game, they will actually spend you know, a few minutes writing code, testing it, uh, iterating, and then generate a like surprisingly complex programs. That was a joke.